Hi everyone! Welcome again to my channel. My name is Aideen and I'm with Henry. I know we already took you to many places here in Grand Cayman as well as in Cayman Brac. But for my subscribers, the number one question still remains and that is the salary here in Grand Cayman. So we decided in this vlog to discuss the salary and along with it the cost of living here in Grand Cayman, but for the meantime, we're here in one of our favorite restaurants to have our breakfast. Thank you. Hi, how are you? Are you open for Not what time is it? Not until 11.30. We close for breakfast at 10. Yes. Mm -hmm. yeah. okay. So we come back at 11.30? Yeah. Okay. Thank you. Unfortunately, guys, we were already late for their breakfast, but too early for their lunch. So we'll just find another place to eat because we're already hungry. Hampton Hotel, and we're going to try for the first time uh, Mrs. Piper's Kitchen. But it's still quarter to 11, so we're still a bit early. They open at 11. So I'm here with Mr. Sunfeather. He's been here on island for how long? For how long, my dear? 18, 18 years. For 18 years. And a lot of people, not just Filipinos, but other nationalities are asking how much is the salary here? in the Cayman Islands so I'm not gonna give you a definite amount of salary but instead just a range because when it comes to finances or financial matters I find this a very a very sensitive issue um, so the current minimum rate here on island is 6 CI which is about 7 US dollars now when you started what year was that and how much was so in 2004 how much was your salary then do you want me to tell you the truth yeah just the truth but you, you, you can just give a range not the exact amount but because that's already in the past you can give them the exact range or the exact amount okay in CI it's about a thousand dollars a month or twelve hundred dollars US a month so in 2004 he's getting 1200 US dollar for one month and what was your designation then the nature uh, of your work uh, cabinet designer so he's a cabinet designer and you're paid on a monthly basis or on an hourly no, basis uh, we are paid on uh, bi-weekly so every two weeks but so that's 500 500 dollars CI every two weeks. And what was your expenses then? I mean, how much okay. do you pay for your house? Okay. The uh, the accommodation, uh, we are about six six person in a room. We, there are three double decks. So, so an average of four to six person in a room. And we're, per head, we're paying 250 CI a month. That that but that includes the uh, electricity and water because that time we still don't have any wireless internet or internet uh, services during that year. There, yeah, yeah, there was no internet yet. So uh, imagine but we're, we're paying two hundred fifty dollars a month. So two hundred fifty CI for the rent and utility. So you still have around seven hundred fifty CI so, left. So if I can so, convert that to peso during that time, two thousand and four, that is uh, about sixteen thousand a month pesos. Sixteen thousand pesos a month per head. Okay, and then so from from your salary of one thousand CI. Per month less the rent of 250 you're still left with 750 ci so what are your other expenses uh, there well self-care so you have to provide for your food you have to provide for 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 all your necessities so an average a month probably around 300 ci so that's about another 16,000 or 
20,000 a month for yourself. Okay, for yourself, 300, so that's 550. So you're left uh, at least 450. So the remaining money you have from your salary after the rent, after what your necessities here on island is 450. So for 450, what do you do for 450? Oh, for 450, you have to send back, you have to send back, let's say around $400 because you have to pay for the, um, for the uh, transfer fee. That's it. But take note, you are really uh, have to to uh, spend your your money wisely. Mm -hmm. That $300 that I just uh, told you, you have to spend that wisely or else you have no food for the next two or for the next one or two weeks. Oh, so take note guys, okay? That's in year 2004. Uh, my partner here is receiving 1,000 CI dollars for a month as a cabinet designer. Now, 20, fast forward to 2022, the minimum rate per hour is $6 CI. Okay. Now, on my part, I started working in, C, uh, in, in Cayman Islands in year 2013. And my salary back then was, believe it or not, 2000 CI. And I was hired as accountant. So, I'll be brutally honest to you all 2000 CI being single I would say is not would okay it can be enough but it didn't make me happy or satisfied with what I am getting because that same amount if you convert that in the Philippines I can actually have a salary in that same range it's meaning I don't have to work abroad or be away from my family to get that salary. So yes, for the first year, for my first year in, in Cayman, I wasn't happy at all receiving that 2000 CI back in 2013. Now, why do I have to mention that? Because I'm receiving a lot of questions from fellow CPAs, Certified Public Accountants in the Philippines. And up to now, 2022, they are still being offered 2,500 CI as their salary. So imagine, I started in 2013 and I wasn't happy back then for a 2,000 CI salary. Now, 2013 to 2022, that's nine years ago. Nine years had passed and there are still company offering 2,500 CI for CPAs. So the decision would still be up to you if you want to accept it or not. But, in my honest opinion, if you want to be happy, or at least balance being away from your family and working away from your family, at least you have to um, weigh things, whether it's worthy, worthy of the sacrifice that you're gonna have to make. So, at the end of the day, the decision will still be up to you. Again, moving fast forward in year 2022. My loves, how much are you getting now? Don't give them the exact amount, <laughs> but just the range. I'm living the dream. Yes. Thankfully, and by God's grace, after years of hard work, now he's just ripping the fruits of his hard work because he found a company who valued his work his output more than his nationality. Now, why do I say this? There are companies here who would give you a salary below than what they will give someone who is not a Filipino. And that's, that's I'm just being truthful by saying that. So, it is up to you now to negotiate your own credentials, your own capabilities, that you should be paid not based on your nationality but based on your role in the company and what you can contribute to the company and not all companies see it that way not all companies would value your output that way so henry, henry here is very lucky 
but not just lucky because he deserves what he's getting now and he is now not just okay i'm not i don't want to use the term not just okay from cabinet designer he is now a senior project manager of a prestigious architectural or design company here on island right and i'm very proud of him uh, just for you to have an idea how much let's say especially those who are who haven't worked on Cayman Islands yet some and from the Philippines when you are being offered like 2500 that is how much in US my loves 2400 no 2500 okay. CI is about let's oh, say 3500 US 3500 US to CI uh, 2500 how much in US 2100 2000 divide mahal 2500 divided by 0.84 no you want it in ci right that's ci 2500 ci i want it in us so yeah about 3000 us so if you convert 3000 us in philippines that will be around 150000 plus a month so to us Filipinos, wow, delighted! Oh, I, I will finally get one one hundred fifty thousand a month for a salary. But you have to consider the cost of living here and the standard of living here in Cayman. I mean, how much would the rate for a dormitory be? Three seventy five. Three seventy five CI. So three hundred seventy five CI. But you will have no privacy. So it's really up to you. So don't just decide based on the offer you have to make a study you have to research the cost and standard of living of the country that you're gonna get yourself into because as a filipino we're very conservative not all of us are assertive or not all of us can really negotiate what we deserve sometimes we just stay quiet and wait for our um, employers or the company that we work for to recognize our value and our hard work but here in Cayman, it's not like that. You need to learn how to negotiate so you'll have you'll get the salary that you deserve. So that's one thing. And second thing is I want you I want especially my partner here, I want him to serve as inspiration to all Filipinos, especially those who are planning or aspiring to work Just here one piece of on advice. Island. Okay. There are a lot of uh, here crab mentality. So just don't mind them just do your work honestly love your work and do it professionally that's it mm -hmm. okay just do do the best that you can do and believe in yourself believe that you are competitive believe that your um output is world class okay just another advice in cayman there are no labor unions or there are no uh, labor groups that will uh uh, negotiate your salary increase okay whatever you negotiated since day one it's between you and your employer just you just you alone and your employer so okay but my my advice is be confident if you're asking for something let's say for example if you started for ten dollars then after six months uh, uh, you show to you you prove to your employer that you are capable of doing not just one thing but multiple tasking then be confident that that to be confident to go to your boss and ask your boss boss can i get another increase you see my output okay but don't tell to your boss boss this is what happening you know as 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 the increase by selling yourself not by telling your boss boss can i have an increase for two dollars because i'm working better i have more output than than pedro when you find out that pedro that your boss gave pedro two dollars and then your boss give you one dollar and then you're gonna go back to your boss and say hey boss why you give two dollars to pedro and you only gave me one dollar and you only increase my salary by one dollar don't do that Go back to your boss and ask boss, boss, I think one dollar is not enough. Can I get another dollar or can I get another two dollars? That's the way to ask for an increase. And be happy what other people gets. 
Do not compare yourself to others when you are selling yourself. Exactly. I mean, we're okay. all working hard here. We're all working hard. We're all trying to make a living here. So, never ever pull other people down, especially your fellow Filipino down, just to make your situation better. Because in one way or another, there is karma. That, that's, well, that's my advice. You either listen to it or no. It's your choice. Well, I mentioned about karma because from where we are now, it's definitely three times better than where we, we used to be. There's a lot of opportunity in Cayman. Just get out of the box. Okay? And prove yourself. Like I told you earlier, yes, I started with 2000 CI dollar salary back in 2013. And I'm getting more, way more than that now. But if you accept an offer, let's say if, if a company offers you 2,500 CI, I'm not trying to put that company down. It's still, the decision would still be up to you. And then eventually you can, you can succeed. Like you can just start with 2,500 CI as salary for the first year and then find another opportunity when you get here. And then it's up to you how you will improve your salary. Now, here's another advice, especially for fellow professionals in the Philippines, CPAs, engineers. When you get here in Cayman Islands, they won't care whether you are CPAs or engineers in the Philippines because your license is only good in the Philippines. If you want to compete as accountant here, if you want to compete as engineer here, then you have to pursue further studies. You have to get accreditation from international bodies. And you can't do that if you don't have money. Because you need money like to pursue an accreditation with ACCA. For example, if you want to be a chartered accountant and get a salary for an accountant here in Cayman. What they care is your output and what value you can bring into their company your salary will be based on that not be based on your title professional title in the philippines we are all migrants here we are all overseas filipino workers here we're just trying to grab opportunity available to us filipinos here so we're just equal time now for lunch. Time, time for lunch, for lunch. thank you Sit your chat. You got nothing to hide Yeah, your future's so bright So just smile like there's no one watching Early morning on a Saturday Wake up, it's time to get it started No one's gonna get in your way No one's gonna leave you broken hearted You don't need nobody else Everyone knows you're doing well So well, yeah not a worry in the world, you ain't scared of nothing You a boss kind of girl, you got all you wanted Earned yourself a quick break in the morning If someone tells you what the wise, give them warning Don't let yourself be restrained Own yourself and just walk away Something that inspires everyone who's lost their vision. You got something that everyone is craving. I'm just wishing I can be with you. I feel like I need you in my arms. There's something about the way you look when you see your child. You got nothing to hide. Now your future's so bright. So just smile like there's no one watching. Ooh, don't you know? So for the lunch menu, the first page is our set lunch. Mm -hmm. So our concept is we have five different proteins mm -hmm. that you can combine together with salads. Okay, mm -hmm. so you can have one protein, up to three salads. Everything is coming on the same plate. I so it's see. kind of make your own. Okay, mm -hmm. and the good thing is like every two weeks we are changing this menu. Mm -hmm. So it's, we always have something new. Okay, mm -hmm. and then the next page we have the garden specials. 
it's kind of our all day menu. So mm -hmm. these items are available during the whole day. Mm -hmm. So we have more items like sharing style, like the hummus, croquetas, and as well we have some sandwiches. All right, and then the drinks. And what's your best seller? I believe for, you have Korean barbecue and your um, empanada. That's for dinner. Ah, so. To those of you who do not know where this restaurant is, it is inside or at the back of Hampton Hotel. Hampton used to be Comfort Suites and this restaurant has a garden theme or garden concept. 